So it's not simply what your material circumstances uh, do to you directly, like whether or not your house is, is warm enough or damp or, or whatever. Uh, those things matter, but much more important is whether you feel valued by other people, whether you feel respected or disrespected, looked down on, humiliated. And the effects of inequality are to increase that sense of, of shame and stigma at the bottom but not only at the bottom. You know, in a society where some people are, uh, seem to be hugely important, you know, we thought the bankers were brilliant until the crash. We do judge people through their social position and the, so, you know, the prejudiced view of the poor is that they're lazy and stupid and that's why they're poor. Uh, those kind of views give rise to increased what psychologists call social evaluation anxieties. More worries about how people see and judge you. You know, those fears that maybe I'm unattractive, I'm boring, I'm socially gauche, people think I'm stupid, which means that we're more hesitant to, to, to make contact with each other. Social contact becomes an, an, an ordeal. You know, you, maybe you're invited out to a party or to dinner with friends. Yeah, not sure I can face it tonight. Really not up to it. Because we feel all the time social contact means putting on a good face, keeping up appearances, a performance. Um, but actually we all know that what we most value is relaxed time with friends and enjoyment of each other's company. Inequality damages that fundamentally. The most junior employees are paid one-third of one percent of what the CEOs are getting. There is no more powerful way of telling a whole swathe of the population that you people are almost worthless uh, than to pay them one-third of one percent of what somebody else gets. And so it leads to these huge social evaluation anxieties. Some people are so important and others are worthless. Where do you come?